Hi everyone, it's Matha. Welcome back. So excited about today's video because I'm painting myself as Naitiri to watch Avatar 2 in theaters. It just released and I'm super excited. I will be walking into the theater looking like this. I'm going to be using the Meron Paradise Makeup Palette. This is a water activated face paint. So I'm going to be using some water to activate the deep blue shade in here and I'm going to be painting my entire face and neck and shoulders and if you're going to be recreating this look just keep in mind that anything that shows skin color has to be painted blue because it's blue skin so i'm going to be painting my ears as well and while i'm painting i'm also layering the paint to make it as opaque as possible and i'm also going to be using this paint over my lids Now it's time to add some dimension and that's when the look starts coming to life. Whether it's makeup or face paint, this is my favorite part. So I'm going to be using this lighter shade of blue to highlight my face in the usual areas where I highlight, which is on my cheekbones, in my T-zone, my forehead, uh, my bridge of the nose, on my chin. And with this technique, we'll also make the bridge of the nose wider. So the wider you paint the lighter shade of blue, the wider the nose will look because we're trying to achieve Naitiri's look and we have to keep the bridge as wide as possible. To add an extra layer of dimension, I'm dipping into the lightest blue in the palette and I'm going to be highlighting my face once again, but I'm not going to be spreading it as much as I did with the other shade of blue. And what that'll do is when you blend everything out, it'll give you that beautiful ombre shades and it's not going to look harsh. And this is all about trial and error. You can keep mixing and matching the colors, add more color and intensity where it's required. And if you mess up something, you can always go back to the previous color and correct it. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just layering up. And while I'm doing that, I'm also using a sponge and a brush to blend everything out. Think of it as painting on paper. That's exactly what I'm doing here. And all the brushes that I'm using today are makeup brushes, but of course you can also use paint brushes. Again, I'm dipping into the medium shade of blue and I'm using it between the light and deeper shade just to get a nice flow. Just like I do with makeup, now I'm going to be using some translucent powder to set in areas where I highlighted. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but of course you can use whatever you have. And then from the LH Cosmetics color palette, I'm going to dip into navy and I'm going to set in areas where I use the deeper shade of blue. Because the skin is blue, we're creating a shadow with deeper shade of blue. So that becomes your contouring. Using the same shade of blue, I'm going to start adding the lines on the face in the circumference of the face that Naitiri has. For this, I'm going to start with a soft touch using a fluffy shader brush. This is from Wet n Wild. That'll help to create a softer blurred out line. And then we will go in with a shader brush to shade it further to give that dimension. And now I'm using a flatter shader brush. This is finer than the fluffy brush that we just used. I'm going to be using the same eyeshadow and going over the lines that we just created right in the center of that line. That's going to give a nice dimension because it's going to be deeper in the center. And as it moves out, it becomes really blur and soft. And I'm going to continue to do the same on the sides of my face. And then I'm going to use the same eyeshadow on the sides of my nose using the flat fluffy brush. That'll make the width of the nose more prominent. Next, I'm picking up this white shade with a blending brush and I'm going to go in between those lines just to highlight it so the lines stand out even more. That's looking pretty good and now it's time to define the brows using the Precision Edge Brow Pencil. This is by House Labs and I'm using the shade Black. 
all I'm doing here is wherever I see my skin, I'm going to fill it in with this pencil. I was looking at myself and I felt like I need to add one more dull line right on top of my cheekbone. So I'm going in with the fluffy brush and very lightly pulling in two lines on either sides of my face. And then using navy again, I'm going to completely set my lids with it. The brush that I'm using is a small fluffy brush by Real Techniques. It's actually a concealer brush. And then I'm also going to smoke it out in my lower lash line. Again, I'm using the same navy blue eyeshadow with the flat fluffy brush from Wet n Wild. I'm going to smoke it out throughout my lower lash line. I'm going to very finely line my top lash line very close to the lashes using the Tarte Tartlet Liquid Eyeliner Pen. The key here is to make your eyes wide open just like Nighteries but just make sure the eyeliner is very thin and very close to the lashes. What is also going to help is using a nude eye pencil. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Nude Eye Pencil in the lower lash line. The Avatar characters have white shiny freckles on the face. So I'm going to be using crystals instead for this. And I'm also going to combine it with uh, white dots on my face. First for the crystals, I'm using eyelash glue and just dotting it in areas where I want to stick the crystals and then I'm going to go in with those crystals. I think that gives a really nice dimensional touch to this look. But of course, all these steps are optional. You can just use a white eyeliner to keep those dots on your face. This crystal set is such a fabulous one. I've used it so much, especially during Halloween. I got this off of Amazon and I'm going to link everything. It comes with that wand that I'm using. I think it has wax on top. So it's very easy to dip it in the crystal and stick it on your face one by one. You don't have to use your fingers. That was a nightmare when I was trying to do that. So this really helps. And then I'm using a white eyeliner pen by Colourpop. And I'm going to dot my face in areas where I see freckles on Nighteri's face. That's mostly going to be on the forehead, on the nose, as well as just below the eye and my chin basically in areas where I highlighted my face. Now for the lips, I'm going to dip into that navy blue shadow again with a flat shader brush and I'm going to line my lips with it. And right in the center of the lip, I'm going to be using Bestie by Ofra Cosmetics. This is my collaboration with Ofra. I'm just dotting it right in the center. I'm going to smack my lips. And then I'm using a light blush to go over it. So that's going to give that hint of pink to the lips. At the same time, it's going to make the lipstick completely matte. I'm going to do the same for the tip of my nose. First using the lipstick with a flat shader brush to paint the tip. And then I'm going to set it with a blush. And then using the Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics, I'm going to draw the border of the tip of the nose. I'm going to quickly add some braids to my head and I'm going to be right back. Time to add those finishing touches. So I'm going to first curl my lashes. This is the Sally Hansen Curler. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Level Up Lengthening Mascara by Colourpop. I'm going to be using it both in my top and bottom lashes, just like Nighteri has on her top and bottom lashes. And then as you can see, there's some skin showing in my hairline as well as um, in the center partition that I have. So I'm going to use some blue eyeshadow and cover that up. I painted the rest of my shoulders and for my ears, I simply cut out two pieces of cardboard. First painted it blue and then shaded it with the blush color right in the center to give that dimension. And I just stuck it in the back of my ear with some lash glue. And here is the finished look. I love the way this turned out. I hope you do as well. Comment below and let me know. And let me know if you enjoy these special effects makeup. Something different from the usual that I do. I truly enjoy recreating movie characters. But I'd love to hear from you. So let me know everything in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you want information on the products that I used in today's tutorial, Tutorial. They're all linked in this video in the bottom left corner. If you click on view products, it's going to pull up all the products. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to watch more videos like these. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.